Hey everybody, we're going to try this again. i um, not quite sure what happened in the first video. Um, so we're going to talk about marshmallow root. Um, we'll wait again and let's see if we can get some people to join us. Um, marshmallow root has become one of my favorite roots. Um, I guess one of my favorite herbs. Um, great properties, digestive issues, bronchial irritation, coughs, colds, um, sore throats. Um, you can use it internally, you can use it topically. Uh, best way I like to use it is in a cold. And I'll kind of walk you through that really quick. Um, just a quick reminder that I have a very large dog and at any given moment, um, he could, you know, start barking. So if I jump four feet and you hear really loud barking, I apologize. Um, shoot me a message, let me know you're here. If you have questions, we're Jackie Blankenberg, where are you? <laughs> Great question, Kathy. Jackie, where are you? A um, couple things I want to talk about. We've been getting a lot of phone calls and questions about whether or not we're going to have a new storefront. Um, that is the goal. We're still looking for the perfect spot. And as soon as we find it, we'll let you know. Um, in the meantime, we're still happy to make deliveries 25 miles from my home in St. Francis. We're happy to um, you know, have you come to my home and pick it up. Uh, we have a very safe pickup. We leave it on the porch and we put it in the mailbox. Um, and of course, delivery through the United States Postal Service. Um, wait a couple more seconds, get a couple more people on here. Again, let me know you're here. Shoot me a wave. Just a hi, Susie. Um, all right, heartburn. Last night I had horrible, horrible, horrible heartburn. I ate something that I know I should not have eaten. And by 12 30, 1 o'clock in the morning, my chest was on fire. Um, ran to the kitchen, opened the fridge, got my uh, cold infusion of marshmallow root, took a shot. Uh, I was able to go back to sleep. You know, you get the, the that nice, cold, soothing feeling. And it, uh, it, it, you can feel everything gurgling, you get a little burpy. And then I was able to just fall asleep. Hi, Mel. Thank you for joining us again. Um, marshmallow root, you know, one of the first questions people tend to ask me about marshmallow root is, is this literally where marshmallow candy came from? And it's a yes and no kind of question. So back in the day, uh, people knew that, or candy makers knew that marshmallow root had like a sap and that sap is made of um, polysaccharides, which is like sugary substances and uh, starch. So they would take the, the sap and they would whip it up and then they'd add egg whites, sugar, and water, and they'd put it in a mold, and voila, you had your original marshmallows. Um, you know, so compared to today, where, you know, they, they use um, fructose syrup, gelatin, uh, cane sugar, and dextrose, which is like a sugar substitute. So very sweet with absolutely no nutritional value compared to something that at one point had maybe even a touch of some kind of nutritional and medicinal purposes. Okay, so, you missed the first video. You missed Kathy Kurtz Mason and I having a massive discussion on the many properties of the marshmallow root plant. I learned some things. She is very smart when it comes to growing things. So it's always fun reading her comments and having her, you know, point things out. So this is a marshmallow root plant. Um, I've got like this big black bar on the bottom here. So I can't, I'm going to try and shrink it. Nope. Oh, goodness. <laughs> All right, going back to this. So um, marshmallow plant, it's, it's, this, is a, this is a baby. Um, I have four of them. Uh, we're going to be planting them in the backyard. I got to plant them in places that are very sunny. It likes full sun and it likes moist soil, um, which means that we're going to have to make sure that it has mulch around it. Um, Kathy informed me, and I'm very grateful for this, that it's a self-seeder, which means this baby's going to spread. Um, when we planted our lemon balm, it's a self-seeder and it spread a lot. Same thing with our chamomile. So we're going to have to make sure that we plant these four in an area where they've got room to grow and do their thing. Um, we won't be able to harvest the roots on these until they're at least two years old. Um, this is going to grow to be about four feet tall. Um, it'll eventually have really pretty pale pink flowers. All of the properties of this plant are edible. Um, and they all have um, some of the mucilage, um, which is what's in the sap or in the in the root, um, the good stuff that's going to help you feel better. Hi, Bonnie. Thank you for joining us. Um, so these plants, we're going to grow them in the backyard in a very sunny spot, all on their own. So if they decide they want to self-seed, we're more than happy to have that happen. 
Um, so let me kind of walk you through this. So there's a mucilage in here. So you take the roots and you can do it one of two ways. You can do a cold infusion, which pulls out the sugary substances and, and it thickens it. It's not gelatinous as much as like a, a silk. I guess that's the best way I can explain it. It's really silky. Um, you could also make a tea out of it, a hot tea, where it pulls out the starches. Um, I've done that a couple times, really not a fan of the flavor. Um, by no means does this taste like marshmallow. It's very um, herbaceous. It does have a tad bit of sweetness to it, but not a lot. Um, in a hot tea, I did not care for it. Um, you can get the, the roots. Let me show this to you. Uh, again, with the, with the thing here. So they're very, very light in color. Okay, and they're very, very soft. And when you put them in water, they're gonna expand a lot. And then it pulls out the good stuff and the water eventually thickens. Um, you can get marshmallow root like this, cut and sifted. You can get the leaves. Um, the leaves I like to use, but more for like a poultice. The same thing with marshmallow root powder. You can take the powder and you can add it to water and you can drink it. Um, for some reason, every time I've done this, it clumps and I just I can't get it down. I just can't do it. So I'm going to use the powder and then the leaves and to make a poultice and you would kind of grind it up, put it in a, a hot, uh, put it on a hot cloth and you would wrap it around irritated or inflamed skin. So although this uh, this plant is specifically what they would call like a demulcent and a demulcent is a, um, a substance that that helps irritation and inflammation by coating it like a it coats it with a film which is this mucilage oh excuse me um the powder and the other stuff doesn't do that when you put it on it helps with inflammation you know so this this plant has various properties it, it can help internally and externally and today we're really focusing on the root and helping it internally so cold infusion super easy to make and i and unfortunately made it when the last video was on and since it was deleted, we're going to kind of pretend to make another one. So what I do is I take two tablespoons of the root, right? Looks like this. And then I, I put it in a mason jar, okay? And I take the mason jar and I added a bottle of water. I'd rather do it with bottled water than tap water. It's just me. If I'm going to take the time to make an herbal preparation, I'd like to make it sure that it's as pure as possible. I'm going to cover it up. I'm gonna shake it up and I'm gonna leave it on the counter for up to four hours, a minimum of four hours. Um, this one's gonna stay out overnight. Um, what happens is it's gonna pull all that good mucilage out, all that thick gooiness, which we want. Um, not only does it coat everything, it coats your throat, it coats your digestive tract, it's also a prebiotic. A prebiotic means that it's gonna feed the good floral. Think of it like a fertilizer. So it's going to get into your digestive tract and it's going to feed the good bacteria, which in turn is going to help your digestive tract to become healthy, which, you know, makes all of you healthy because that's sort of the center of all of us, right? If your digestive tract is healthy, all of you tends to be healthy. Okay, so this is what it looks like when it's freshly made. And this is what I made yesterday. So you can see the difference. So this one right here, I'll shake it up. Ooh, sorry about this, is darker. It's thicker. And uh, this is what we're going to do with this. So now what we do is we strain the one that's been out overnight. And you take all the herbs and stuff out of it. And I put it in, this is like a dollar. You can get it at the dollar store. It's just a cute little vinegar bottle. And I'm going to keep it in the fridge for a week. Um, I have or tend to have a lot of stomach issues. So I find that if I take a shot glass of the cold infusion in the morning and I take a cold infusion at night, my stomach doesn't bother me. Uh, I, I don't have problems going into the bathroom. It really helps um, when you have like acute issues like I did last night. You get up, you can take it for heartburn, acid indigestion. As a matter of fact, um, this, this container right here that I had made yesterday is for my, my 23 year old son who was here last week complaining of um, a lot of acid indigestion. And he felt like he had a lump in his throat and he was starting to freak out a little bit. And after talking to him, I've noticed that there are a lot of us who are suffering from seasonal allergies that seem to have just gone off the chart this year. Um, I had somebody ask me, why are they so bad? And you know, the only response I have at this point is 2020. You know, I, it's just, it's a year for everything to go wonky. But I made him the marshmallow root and it helped to coat his throat 
and help with his stomach acid. So after about a day or two, he's starting to feel better. Now he's taking this twice a day. Um, great product. Uh, Marshmallow is something you definitely want in your house during cold and flu season. Um, great, again, digestive issues, sore throats, coughs, any kind of bronchial irritation. Um, it's going to help soothe. It's really good for nausea. Um, it helps coat the intestines and stuff when you have diarrhea. It can also, because of the prebiotic, it can eventually start to help with constipation and a good diet as well. Um, I think that's it for today. I just want to kind of share this with you. We're now selling the marshmallow root in one ounce measurements or sizes on our website. So if you'd like to purchase some, you can. On the back of the package, we'll make sure that we always have the recipe for the cold infusion. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, let's hope that the Facebook gods let us keep this one on and you guys have a great night. Talk to you soon.